Hey, what's up? How you doing, everyone? It's Jay Zemo here at Switchwatch. I hope you're having a great week and doing well. If it's your first time here, well, this is our Switch Bargain series where we scour the eShop across the UK, US, and EU to find you the best deals. Yes, the games that are on sale that are worth your hard-earned cash. So, let's take a look at the best deals this week. Now, kicking things off this week, it's a game that I absolutely love, Slay the Spire. This is the perfect game to pick up and play when you fancy a nice solo run or have some downtime to kill. Each run is different yet familiar in this addictive, roguelike, deck-building battler. What's more, there has been content added over time such as a fourth class and ascension mode, as well as leaderboards, which all adds to the replayability of this game, which is why I still pick it up from time to time. What's great is just how varied each one is. Your core characters have their own play styles, but even amongst them, picking up different cards or landing a different relic will take you down a slightly different path. The balance is great, and that's ultimately an important part of why this is such a great game, especially now with 50% off in all regions. Juan, what about you? What takes your fancy this week? Thanks very much for that, James. I've chosen Wizard of Legend uh, this week. It's a procedurally generated dungeon crawler where you play as a wizard complete with over 100 different spells that shift your playstyle from direct combat to leaning on familiars and everything in between. Stylistically, the game has a vibe similar to Enter the Gungeon. There is co-op on offer as well as lots of reasons to keep revisiting this world. A very solid choice and with 60% off, now is definitely the time to give it a go. See you next week. Lovely, that's a great pick as well, and you can't go wrong with a good bit of cup fun. Now up next for me, it's Aegis Defenders. This one had a long path to release after a successful Kickstarter campaign, and what we got is a game that was really worth the delay. This one combines platforming with tower defense in a novel and interesting way, combining strategic play with precision. There's a lot going on with a decent story, a gorgeous world, and plenty of secrets to find. The game works well in solo or in co-op, making it a trusty addition to anyone's Switch library. At first glance, The Gardens Between looks like a visual novel where you're just along to watch a story unfold and not really play the game. And that's okay, but actually there's more here than that. The gameplay appears simple, but there is surprising depth. The premise is that you solve a series of puzzles bending time to find the right solution for the protagonist front and Ariana. What's more, each little island in which a puzzle takes place looks gorgeous and this unique adventure is one that's really worth exploring. Ip and Dob is a two-player cooperative game set in a puzzle-filled world where gravity goes both up and down. You can only succeed by working closely together. There are 15 levels to enjoy with the buddy here as well as 8 hidden worlds to discover, each with its own unique music which is a real standout here. If you're after a solid couch co-op game then have a look at this one, another great co-op game. Now we've had a good couple of cop games so far and I do love them, but I do also like a good old competitive party game and the best ones are easy to pick up and play, make you laugh and get way too competitive. Boomerang Foo fits the mould perfectly. Each arena offers different approaches and there are power-ups to race for. There are not that many modes or online play, but this is just perfect if you have a few friends over or some family members and you just want to have a good laugh. A Hat in Time is a cute as heck 3D platformer featuring a little girl who stitches hats for wicked powers. In A Hat in Time you play as a tiny space travelling girl with a big top hat and her adventure is halted when all her fuel, the timepieces, is lost and scattered across a nearby planet. Hat Kid must now jump, fight and stitch new hats to make her way into every nook and cranny of this world in order to restore her fuel and resume her journey. It's a bonkers little game and it's good fun, there's co-op as well. XCOM 2 is one of the best strategy games and I'm sure if you're familiar with the genre then, well, it's not a game that you need introducing to. This is a tactical turn-based sci-fi epic that sees you fighting off aliens that overtook our home planet in the first game. The countless options, story and challenging gameplay make this a real must-have. In fact, it featured in our Top Switch games of 2020, so with a massive 70% off now, it's definitely the time to buy if you like the genre. Hotshot Racing is a blisteringly fast arcade style racing game fusing drift handling, razor sharp retro visuals and an incredible sense of speed to create an exhilarating driving experience. We reviewed this one and gave it a very solid 8.5 out of 10 which you can check by clicking up at the top right hand corner. 
with 16 tracks and time trial and Grand Prix modes as well, catering to those who like to compete in classic racing formats, and Cops and Robbers and Drive or Explode modes offer exhilarating new ways to play. Each mode is available in single player, four player split screen and eight player online, whilst time trial is single player only. Single player modes run at a blistering 60 frames per second to deliver one of the fastest depictions of racing possible on the Switch, and overall, this is a really brilliant choice with 75% off. Forager is a 2D open world game with exploration, farming and crafting. It's extremely addictive, its simple mechanics of scavenging in for items and using them to expand your land is really satisfying. At first glance it doesn't look like a lot but I think this game is super addictive, it's really good. If you like games like Stardew Valley or more competitive games actually as well to be fair, then take a look at this, especially with a very healthy 50% off at the moment. Blasphemous is tough, it's a non-linear world that's worth exploring, the combat is brutal and you can customise your build by discovering and equipping all sorts of different things. I love everything about this one, the graphics, the tunes, there's loads of combinations for you to find the best playstyle for you as well. And best of all are the boss battles which are epic in scope, absolutely huge old beasts that dwarf your character. This is a great game, especially for those that like their world dark and twisted. Now I've really enjoyed this first person shooter, your task is to lead the ragtag void bastards out of the Sargasso Nebula. You make decisions on where to go and what to fight, on derelict ships you will strategize and plan missions. What I love in this 12 hour campaign is when one of you dies another steps in to carry on the fight and all of your crafting progress is retained to the next. I love how each prisoner has different traits so with the endless supply of prisoners you'll be sure to get there eventually. I enjoyed the cool looking visuals, the gameplay, which isn't just about shooting all the enemies and all the time, it's just the overall package screams quality. So as I say, don't miss it at this price if you've not picked this one up yet. Now those of you who have long memories like me will remember that back in the 90s the original Worms from Team 17, the mischievous mayhem that sets your troops against your opponents in turn based randomised terrain battles led to some really great carnage. Over the years the series has had some further hits but also some misses. But to my delight Worms WMD takes the series right back to its core. Silly and awesome weapons, 2D maps and devilish voiceovers. The campaign is decent. But playing this with friends is where the true joy really lies. It's got 75% off, it's a bit of a bargain. I'd consider checking this one out if you're not familiar with it. Ministry of Broadcast is an adventure platform game that is heavily stylized and inspired by George Orwell's 1984. In terms of gameplay, you can see the influences from the original Prince of Persia and games of its type with levels full of traps, enemies and puzzles. It's an interesting game that doesn't get everything right but offers a really nice experience. If you're looking for games to play with your friends then you're spoilt this week and here's another great one, it's Blazing Beaks. In this one levels are randomly generated and you can play story mode with a friend cooperatively or alone, either way it's a blast. And if you want to compete against your friends then there is a tournament mode too to test your skills against each other. For us, we loved how simple it was to pick up and play and just get into. Blasting foes is super fun, a strong pick up at a brilliant price. Lumo is a love letter to isometric platformers, a genre that has been quite dormant for a long time. It features some upgraded visuals and sounds and throws in a bunch of puzzles for good measure. There are over 400 rooms to navigate and these are a real blast to be played in short bursts or for longer sessions. There are loads of nods to the games that came before it, but if you don't catch them, it really won't impact your enjoyment. This is an addictive little game that's worth picking up. Nowhere Profits hits two game styles that I love, deck building, card games and strategic choice based adventures. This is a post apocalyptic world in which you travel the map one turn based node at a time, stumbling upon battles and sites of interest as you build your deck and aim to survive this harsh land. What's nice is beyond completing a single run there are multiple difficulties unlocks and challenges to keep you coming back for more, a nice choice for solo fun with 60% off. Yes, Your Grace tells a tale of Davon, a medieval kingdom ruled by King Eric. In this kingdom management RPG, petitioners will arrive in the throne room each turn to ask for your advice and assistance. The game is set in a fictional world where monsters and arcane practices inspired by Slavic folklore are the order of the day. Villagers will ask for your help with various problems from monsters attacking the village to a lack of places to relax and enjoy themselves. Some will bring humour to your throne room and some will present you with difficult choices. Your family is important too. 
and throughout your time as king, you will have to support them in their struggles. Overall, this is a really thrilling and interesting game. Wonder Song is a unique platform adventure game that doesn't focus on enemies. Instead, you make your way around the world talking to people and solving puzzles through your singing, which is tied to colours. The mechanics are clever, and once you get the hang of them, are a real delight. Underneath the pretty and colourful world, there's a pretty reflective story where you are not the hero, yet you set out to try and save the world through song. A really nice experience either alone or with a friend. All right, and that's it from us this week. I hope you have enjoyed this video. There's a bunch of good games, especially if you've got mates around. There's a lot of co-op and competitive games as well. They're my picks. What about you? What do you think? What is your favourite? Do let us know in the comments down below, and I look forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, have a great time, and we'll be back with some more videos later on this week, so keep an eye out. Take care, everyone.